Oh. All right, there he is, Master Chief in Fortnite. And just last week we had Kratos. I mean, who, who's going to show up now? Uh, Samus Aran? Um, who knows? I don't know what they're doing with this whole bounty hunter thing, but there he is. Gaming Legend Series. The fact that it says Gaming Legend Series right there... And it doesn't say Microsoft. If if Kratos says Gaming Legend series, then there's going to be more Gaming Legends. I could even see Nathan Drake get in this. Or something. Bet. Yes, I'll be uh, looking at the Ghosts and Goblins remake. Um, I am still reeling from the Smash Brothers reveal. I'm just like, nothing can phase me tonight. I was not expecting that. And all the leakers that I know did not see this coming. Like, everybody's been saying no more sword characters. There's, there's... You're right. He's the sword character. You didn't make no, more sword characters <laughs> no more sword characters after the man. Oh, gosh. After the sword See, it says Gaming Legend Series. What about... It does! <laughs> it does say it! Kratos says Gaming Legend Series. There's gonna be more! There's gonna be more! So you have Kratos from Sony, you've got Master Chief from Microsoft, there has to be a Nintendo rep. They're gonna do something. They're gonna do something. I don't know what it's gonna be. But anyway, uh, you can pick this character up now in the shop. You have 20 hours to pick up Master Chief. You got a bundle. The bundle is... Uh, well, I got it for 3000 I don't know why it's saying 4 You can pick him up by himself for uh, 1500 You get his... Uh, Gravity hammer from the game. Uh, you get his uh, pelican right here. This is your glider. Pretty cool. I think it's dope. I'm not a huge Halo fan, though, because I wasn't really big into shooters. But um, I do appreciate what the Halo series was. And the story was really interesting. See the little gas uh, canister thing there? Sell to stay away from my drink. Walking Dead is coming to Fortnite. So there's going to be a Gaming Legend series then. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. So, uh, if you guys have the Switch, I would pick up Master Chief because you can have both um, Kratos and Master Chief on Nintendo Switch. Like that. It's pretty epic. What? Oh! 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 That's epic. That's pretty cool. One wing. Oh my gosh. Da -da 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 I did not see that coming. I did not see it coming. That was beyond epic. Oh, now we got to play this fun game of waiting to get into a match. I always forgot about that. Um, does Master Chief have any other skins? Any other looks to him? No, only one. Only one, but he looks pretty good. Oh, come on. You're going to... Because everybody wants to download this character, so it's going to be impossible to get in a match tonight. Everybody wants to play this character. Everybody wants to play this character. Which makes sense. 
Gaming Legend series. Who else is going to be in this, though? Gaming Legends is what Kratos and Master Chief are a part of in the Fortnite thing. Like, so that means other gaming... I wouldn't be surprised if Nathan Drake ends up in this. Like, from Uncharted. Um, probably have, like, some type of zombie character. Maybe a Mortal Kombat character would end up in here. I don't see a Nintendo character getting in. You can try it. Can I get a after this stream? Yeah, as long as you're still awake. Oh, whoa, whoa, my phone's going crazy. Playable Blood Glutch. What is Blood Glutch? Playable. Like a new level? It sounds familiar. So, anyway, how are people doing tonight? Hopefully, you guys are having fun. And uh, how many of you actually watched the Game Awards? I just kind of like followed them on Twitter. I didn't really pay attention much to it. Bubsy's gonna be in it! Mega Man! Mega Man would be a perfect fit. Like, what characters would you guys want to see for the Gaming legend side? Like, I, you know, I'm just thinking about characters that would kind of work with the Fortnite atmosphere. Like, Nathan Drake would be cool. Um, maybe somebody from Perfect Dark. Um, f maybe somebody from Destiny. I don't know what a main character from Destiny would really be, though. Because, I mean, most of those characters were all, you know, custom. Uh, oh, somebody from Dark Souls would be fun. That that would be interesting. It'd be funny if they add Mario. I don't know. Oh, the other skin for Master Chief is only on Xbox. Okay, that makes sense. Ted wants to see Laura, Croft. Laura Croft would be awesome. She would make it as part of the Gaming Legends. Yeah, totally. I would see that. Laura Croft. Mm hmm. Rodimus Prime for Fortnite. No! No, 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 no. Um, what is the other uh, skin for Master Chief? Like, what color is it? Link would fit more than Mario. I don't, I don't see. Uh, hey, Cammy, how you doing? It'd be funny if they add Mario. It's a Mario in the Fortnite. Oh, no! Yeah, because I can't use the argument that he uh, doesn't use guns because he had that whole Mario Rabbits thing. So, I mean, you know, that happened. You can make Master Chief look ridiculous. Ha ha ha. Uh. I love that. Well, I hope that's what Kirby looks like if he swallows him. I guarantee you they're not going to give Kirby the, the, the one wing. You think they'll give Kirby a wing? Oh, that's awesome, uh, Princess Amy. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, when when Kirby when if Kirby swallows Sephiroth and doesn't get a wing, I'm gonna be upset. And he needs to have the hair. He has to have the hair, and whatever um you know Seth's um like B move is. I think it's probably going to throw magic with his B move, I think. Chad wants to see, see Ugandan Knuckles. Ugandan Knuckles in Fortnite. I hurt your ears just now? My volume level's really high? I haven't heard Or are you talking about, like, um... Huh? Or, or... I've been listening to you the whole time. You haven't been off. Oh, okay. So I'm not, I'm not harming people's ears. That's good. Robocop and Fortnite, um, he would be movie legend. See, this is the great thing about this. Because you have the gaming legend series now, you know, if they're going full-blown licensed stuff, all right, cool. Gaming legends, great. What about movie legends? Robocop, Predator, Alien, you know? Uh, let me see if I can think of some other ones from movie legends. Rambo. Um, <laughs> uh, Bruce Willis from Die Hard. <laughs> With his bare feet. <laughs> um, more movie legends. Judge Dredd. Uh, Are we talking 80s action heroes? Like 80s, yeah, 80s action movies. Like, for movie legends. Cop. No, Kindergarten Cop wouldn't, wouldn't work. Terminator, for movie legends. Yeah. But, I mean... Jackie Chan! Jackie Chan would work as a movie legend. He would work. 
Especially if he had, like, um, some of his abilities from the Jackie Chan adventure show. What? We're still waiting to get in a match. Uh, if people are wondering about Master Chief, we're, we're still waiting. Um, people are going crazy buying this skin right now, so... Stream's been on for about uh, 12 minutes. No match yet. So this is the guy from Halo? Yeah, this is the main character from Halo. This is Master Chief. Oh, there we go. First match. Finally. Your friend list is full on here. Yeah, my friend list is full. Sorry. If this is a Star Wars season, they could also put Darth Vader. Yeah, I've been waiting a long time. Godzilla. Contra for Fortnite. I don't think many people remember Contra. Bubsy? Okay, let's put let's put Bubsy in. We'll put Bubsy in Fortnite. Gaming Legends. Bubsy. Bubsy Bobcat. No. Earthworm Jim would be Gaming Legends. Earthworm Jim would make sense because they have banana peel people. They've got uh, weird cat creatures. You need Earthworm Jim in Fortnite now. He needs to be part of Gaming Legends. I want to see his weird freakish face inside of the suit running around with his signature gun going, Groove! Groove! Yes. Yes. Yeah, da 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 da. Bum ba 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 da ba 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 da. Ba 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 da. Da 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 da. And then you have to you have to switch to the like really um you know. It it was it was like uh. It, it, yeah, it becomes like a ballad or like this very simple thing. You hear the people screaming in the background Argh! as you're walking oh, around. Right. Yeah. To, like, were Comedy people. gold. There were lawyers everywhere. Oh, maybe because Capcom is bringing back uh, Ghosts and Goblins, uh, we're going to see uh, Arthur in Fortnite. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll contact the uh, creator of Earthworm Jim. He actually follows me. Yeah, well, I mean, we uh, were supposed to interview him at PAX at one time, and uh, we didn't get around to it because we had other commitments. It was back when he did that weird claymation game. I don't remember what it was yeah, called. I remember we were supposed to do it, and then you were like, it's a click. click yeah, I, I, well, because I liked his Earthworm Jim stuff. I didn't really, it was a weird, mm, whatever you call it, claymation game. And it's like, I would just prefer him to keep making, if you're really good at something, just keep doing that. Groove, yeah, because one of the last Earthworm Jim games they made wasn't very good, but they actually made uh, there was a remake. What was it like seven years? No, six years ago. It was actually pretty decent. I can't remember the name of it. It was on um, it was on PS3, and it wasn't it wasn't what's his name that made it. I think he might have been involved in it a little bit, but it was actually a pretty solid remake. That was the year. Of, uh, what was the name? Rocket. No, um, oh, what's his name? The the marsupial with the rocket pack. Uh, Spartacus? No, Spart. Oh, what's his name? What's his? Oh, what's his name? Wait, what the 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 marsupial with the um the armor and the jetpack. Rocket Knight. Yeah, Rocket Knight Adventures. Yeah, Rocket Knight Adventures had a sequel to that year too. Sparkster. Sparkster thank you. Yeah, Spartacus. I am Spartacus. No, Zelda, don't do that. That 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 will shatter and make us all very sick because. The... Oh, you're listening to the Earthworm Jim thing. No, I was thinking. Master Chief should have been added in this a long time ago. So yeah, the whole gaming legend series. Master Chief is from X. Um... X, uh, Microsoft. Yeah. He's um yeah, Halo, Microsoft Game Studios. My cat always tries to destroy stuff. No, it's Rocket Knight. It's not Ratchet. Oh, Ratchet and Clank? I can see Ratchet and Clank in this. The question is, like, how many... How big is their gaming series uh, characters going to be? Like, how many are they going to put in? Because I'm serious. If you can have, like, a walking banana man like this, how funny would it be to see a guy in a muscle suit with a worm head? I mean, that would be epic. That's something that deserves to be in Fortnite. Just just for the sheer hilarity of it. Um, we already finished Cobra Kai, right? Cobra Kai is over, yeah. We 
<laughs> uh, my little buggy. No, Zelda, stay away from that. No, 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 Zelda, don't jump on the other laptops. Come on. Back off, cat. No, I want to be in my little car. I want to be in my little car when I die. I want to be in my little car. No, no, no! Come on, Zelda, there's... Zelda! What are you doing? Oh, jeez, why? Zelda! Sorry, guys. Stream almost got shut off because of cat problems. <laughs> Here I am in my... Ah, oh, I want to be in my little car. I just fed her! You can see the food is still in her bowl! Uh... 6 o'clock? Uh... 10.22? She can't be hungry again. Okay. Hey, if you guys had, like, these carts, we could have a race. <laughs> Good luck. Well, thanks a lot for helping. Oh, I'm no, that's not what I meant. No, that's not what I mean. Hey, banana man, I want to see how far I can go. Get out of my way. I'm gonna run you over. Banana man, out of the way. I want to see how fast I can go. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I wanted to see I wanted to see how far he could go. If if you go upstairs you're gonna fall asleep. I know, that's that's why I'm staying down here. Okay, that's cool. I'm not really here but I am. You're not really here but you are. What's that? Nice. You want some? No. I made some for myself. That's cool. Mandalorian, Master Chief, Kratos. I demand Nathan Drake and Earthworm Jim, and then I'll be happy. And more Batman characters. I want more Batman characters. That'll make me happy. It's like a dollar. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, Fortnite didn't win any awards tonight, but they announced Master Chief. Honestly, I think, I think they were expecting to win, like, a long-running game, and it was somebody else. I, I feel like they, I mean, I'm glad they won Art Direction. There was no other game that compared with the art. That makes sense. Well, um, I'm... I don't know about everything. I, I would have like three or four awards would have been nice, but it's their first entry in their new series. They got Player's Choice and they got Art, and then you had um, Final Fantasy got something. Uh, Final Fantasy actually won Best Score, which makes sense. I mean, it's Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. I really like the music from Final Fantasy VII Remake. It was epic. Yes, they did. Um, when Sephiroth was coming down with the sword and he was near Princess Zelda, that was she was supposed to represent Aerith. Yeah, I mean, it was obvious. What was with the Advent Children thing, though? It also looks like Cloud is going to get a um, an update to his Omni Slash. They're going to give him his Advent Children Omni Slash, because it said Omni Slash uh, 1.5. I don't know. I just don't understand how Sakurai puts this one in I love Sakurai trolling with the death of Mario, though. That was that was the darkest one yet. Like, when I was it, that was so dark. It definitely looked like if they would have not shown that on his belt, he would have known for a fact that they had been run through with a sword and was hanging and actually rocking back and forth. That was that was so forth. intense. His body was swinging back and forth on the sword. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but Garrett, listen, man. We knew that was going to happen because, I mean, the Game Awards are the Critics Awards. They've been that way for like two or three years now. That's not, you know, 
it's the time of year where they basically break their arm, patting themselves on the back. But the one award that, you know, Drunk Man really wanted to win was Player's Choice, and he didn't get it. So he can get as many critic awards as he wants, but the gamers voted for the game they really wanted to win. Um, what was supposed to happen, though, is a little buddy of mine told me that they were basically supposed to win every award. Like, everything that they were nominated for, you know, Last of Us was supposed to win. They didn't win, like, two awards out of the ten that they were nominated for or something. Um, the Final Fantasy one was an upset. Like, there are even people, like, on Twitter complaining about... Um, Final Fantasy shouldn't win because they didn't have enough, like, diversity in it or something. What does that have to do with it has nothing to do with the game. What it's just what it is. It, it doesn't matter. You, you can't win with these people. You just, you know, you take you take your victories while you can. And, you know, some of the trailers tonight was actually really good. Um, I'm very excited about the Capcom collection. I am so excited about Smash Brothers because I thought the Smash Brothers thing was going to be in... Um, I'm trying to think. Like I would think like January or something is when they would release the character or March. It's coming out in December. They're having a Nintendo Direct, a mini one for Smash Brothers on December 18th or 17th. Something like that. So we're actually going to get to play the character this month. I'm psyched. And I wasn't expecting it because the leakers, and I know some leakers um, from Smash Brothers stuff, and they told me that there would be no way because of all the red tape that a Final Fantasy character or even Sora would show up in Smash Brothers. Honestly, Impossible. Though, but in Final Fantasy, there is diversity. Yeah, I know. There are a lot of characters from different ethnicities in Final Fantasy. But there's not modern diversity, and that's all I'm going to say. It's not. So... It doesn't. Well, it doesn't cater. Modern diversity isn't actually real diversity. It's fake. What? That's why they call it pandering. But I don't want to make this the topic of the whole night. Well, there was I'm a... just wondering about like games that just have to do with cats. Like, mm. say there's a game that's about cats. There's no diversity in that. You don't have diverse groups of people in a cat game. So those games should be attacked too. Uh, just like I said, there's no winning uh, with people on Twitter. You just ignore them and you'd be happy mm. for the victories you got. So. Very happy for Square, very happy for Ghost, uh, for what they got. I was very surprised that a game that came out in 2018, though, won two awards tonight. So you had the uh, Among Us game that came out a couple years ago, but because of, you know, everybody being locked up and stuff like that, a lot more people got in touch with Among Us, and Among Us won Best Mobile Game, even though Genshin Impact came out this year. And uh, I think there was another big mobile game that came out in 2020, so they won that, and then they won another award. I'm trying to remember what it was uh, for mobile, but Genshin Impact didn't get anything, I don't think. Thank you for the Super Chat, Brady Power. It's just another villain and a good one. Yeah, I was thinking, like, that too. Like, I was thinking there should be more villains. I mentioned that in one of There them. hasn't been a lot of villains in Smash Brothers, so that's a huge thing. There hasn't been a lot of new ones. But no, I'm serious. Like, getting back to the whole leak stuff, like, most of the leakers years ago, they, before Nintendo did their DMCA stuff, like, basically, you know, threatened legal action against a lot of these people, um, they said there'd be no possibility for a character like um, Sethiroth to make it in the game because of how, like, tight Square is, and Sony, and stuff like that. Ow. Yeah. So, uh, that's also why you had very limited soundtracks for... There were only two two songs from Final Fantasy VII in Smash Brothers. Now there's going to be three. <laughs> You'll have one Winged Angel, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe one of the Final Fantasy VII... I, there might be four songs, but I wouldn't... I, I was talking to somebody in a DM. I wouldn't count on more than, like, maybe four four or five songs in total because Square is super um, tight with copyright. I just can't believe that Ghost of Tsushima didn't win everything. No, it, it wasn't going to. How could it not, though? It should have, though. Because it's not a gaming award ceremony. It's a critics' award ceremony. And the critics already picked their favorite. Sense. Sure it does. You're supposed to... Remember, there was a game series that you and I 
like, it was very, it kind of, like, went against some, like, of our beliefs and stuff, and it was uncomfortable to review, but then you just reviewed it. Like, mm -hmm. it, it said bad things about certain people's faith and stuff, but then I don't even remember what game that was. I won't tell, but, like, basically, like, um, it was just, like, it had some weird viewpoints with the, like, the aliens and Adam and Eve are really aliens and all this stuff. Well, anyway... Basically, like, you you just reviewed the game, and you're like, you know what, this is a really good game. And then later on, you reviewed it from a, what do you call it, Ob so, objective point Well, of that's view. what that's what critics are supposed exactly. to do. Exactly. And then later on, you But said, also, my boss, back then, he told me, like, either I did the, the <sighs> review, yeah. or uh, he would get somebody else, and right. I would have to look at a crappy game. Um, right, and so that's when you just ended up just uh, reviewing it objectively, and then later on you did put your opinion. You were like, I don't really like how the game says this. However, for the game what it is, it's music, storyline, etc., it's very, very well made. So that's how I feel like they should really review it. Well, I don't, I don't believe in grandstanding, so... Like, this is how I feel, but if they don't like how a certain thing, the characters are in the game, or they feel like it should have more, quote... You know, things that hit their check marks. Well, maybe it doesn't have that for their personal <laughs> beliefs. I'm a terrible but master chief. in reality, chief. what they need to do is look at it objectively and go, Well, this, oh! this doesn't fit my personal ah! beliefs. Nice job, guys! However, this game, they should admit, the game is good. Right. You know well, that's mean? that's what that's what they're supposed to do, but, yeah, I mean... They're uh, not really doing their job, that's what I'm saying. Well, yeah, but that's that's because I mean, in all honesty, like game journalists and critics in general that aren't YouTubers are kind of like um, losing respect from the game, like not the game industry, uh, from gamers. from gamers. So gamers, the past like five or six years, have shifted toward YouTube, and they can get like different, you know, uh, voices for gamers, whereas mm -hmm. critics are, you know, very. Mm, you know, they cater to a certain group and things like that. But, I mean, that's been the case. They YouTubers already get all the same perks as critics. And I can tell you guys, as a basically retired journalist, um, I got into more press events as a YouTuber than I did ever as yeah. a member of the press. And when I got in as a member of the press, it was terrible seating, um, terrible time to talk about the game. Once I went under my own ticket as a YouTuber, I could at least pen in about 45 minutes to look at a game as opposed to maybe 10 minutes. Um, I didn't have yeah. to sit in a really smelly room with a bunch of other journalists, like, writing things down frantically, not really getting hands-on stuff. I mean, YouTubers change game journalism completely. So, I mean, you well, know. I mean... That's just a fact. YouTubers can go both ways. They can either pander and be like all the game journalists and do the same thing the game journalists are doing, or... They can have the freedom to actually say their real opinion. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I feel like a lot of YouTubers, if they yeah. make enough money, then they don't need all the sponsorships. Like, if somebody gives them a sponsorship, like, oh, you have to say this about my game, and I'll give you this money. Well, if they have enough money, they can just be like, well, I'm fine. I don't need that money, and I'm going to say my real opinion. So. Yeah, but the market's changed completely. So, I mean, if there are people upset about the Game Awards, you shouldn't be because, I mean... This was going to happen. They, you know, they picked out the winner quite a while ago. It's nothing you could do about it. Um, they even added some brand new categories that they haven't had, like when it was on Spike TV, because they're trying to be stunning and brave. Um, so, I mean, you know, mm, there, there's going to be a lot of weird things that's going to happen. And once the Game Awards stops uh, getting a lot of views from people, which it will, like people will get tired of it. Um, people only really watch it for the trailers anyway, the big reveals. I mean, you can just so, watch the trailers on your own. Yeah. I mean, the trailers get released, like, literally about two minutes after they debut and, anyway. And so. pretty soon, Congress is going to start taking down anything that has to do with TV. Yeah, the copyright stuff is going to get so kind of crazy. we always have to be one step ahead of that, because... Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Other people have other things to do, but my husband... You know, he can't really work outside his house, so we always have to be more careful. I love the fact that they have gaming legends now. I was wondering what all the lightning was about, but I swear a few days ago it didn't say gaming legends for Kratos. It just said Kratos. 
So once Master Chief came, that's when you got the Gaming Legends aspect. And you're not going to get as many characters as you got for Marvel. Uh, there's going to be a lot more Star Wars characters coming too. You're probably going to have, like, this game is going to be, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. There's 22 Marvel characters. By the time Disney's done with this, I'm going to say there's going to be at least probably 10 Star Wars characters, if not more. Um, but I would like to see at least 5 or 6 Gaming Legends. I love how they have the lightning, too. Like, in their um, profile pics. I think that's awesome. Yeah. But I wasn't really a big Halo person, but I can, you know, I can respect the, the Chief being in this. So, I think that's pretty cool. But apparently that got leaked quite a while ago, so. Waluigi for Gaming Legends. Yes, because he doesn't get any love in uh, Smash Brothers. Still, you know, I... Okay, there was a couple things I was thinking. I'm just going to say this. When the thing shattered... Um, when it shattered in two like that, I thought it was either going to be Sethiroth or it was going to be Waluigi. Like, they were going to do a fake out. Like they did when they had um, King K. Rule, um, you know, appear. Like, and when they teased Banjo. Mm -hmm. I thought they were going to do a fake out and Waluigi was going to show up. But probably what's going to happen with the Sethiroth stuff is they're going to have uh, Waluigi as a me skin. Most most likely. Um, yeah. Because they're going to want people to buy as many me skins as possible. But yeah, I, I, wanted, uh, I wanted my boy Ryu to show up from Ninja Gaiden. But I'm... I'm over the moon with uh, the latest Final Maybe Fantasy VII character. Time. Maybe next time. Yeah, it's possible. Master Chief! Contra for Fortnite's never happening. Neo! Okay. Yes, Neo for Movie Legends. That would be fantastic because the Matrix is coming back. The Mask. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know. I could see them doing that. Have they confirmed two more songs? Because I'm just speculating. Like, I'm I'm guessing you might get two Wait, new songs. They are gonna do movie legends, or you guys are just no. We're just we're just messing around. Um, the only song that I think will be in Smash Brothers, unless it's only in the trailer, is One Winged Angel. Mm -hmm. And One Winged Angel, I can tell you guys right now, our video that we posted got copyright claimed because well, of One at, Winged Angel. At least we didn't comp get copyright strike. Yeah. For streaming a TV show. Yep. That's the difference. Like, we don't... You know, if something's gonna get copyright claimed, that's okay, but... I mean, it's actually terrible, because we don't make money, but... I don't like doing things that least, don't make money. At least we don't get copyright strike for the TV show. Ready up, yo! Ready up! You're not ready! Like, people that... People that streamed it today... In two weeks, if Congress like starts cracking down, they'll start attacking those. It'll be channels. it'll be around um, February and uh, March. They'll start copywriting straight game channels, even if you streamed it. Yeah, I still think um, Crash could end up in Smash Brothers. There's a big possibility of that. I mean, there's like what? There's four slots left now, or uh, wait, is there four slots or three? I just. How many slots are left? Can I just may I say my opinion or no? Depends how long it is. It will be short. I just feel like they should review the game based off of, you know, like, the story. Like, whatever they usually base the game off of. Gameplay, you know, like, just normal things you would base a game off of. Like, I just, you know... Predator is confirmed? Alright, well, Luke's already... not. Nah. He doesn't want to listen to me. Sorry, sweetie. It's... What? Nothing. What? Nothing. What? Nothing. Sorry, what? I don't know why you won't listen to me. You're nothing, nothing, nothing. I don't know what that means. I was just uh, responding to the chat. If you don't want me to say it, just tell me. I'll say it real quick. I tried to. You started talking over me. Sorry. I want to be in my little buggy. Dang it. I didn't get to ride around in my little buggy. Half the time, when I say something, you tell me later. I was trying to get you to stop. It's like, why didn't you just say, don't say that? Instead of start talking over me, you could just say, don't 
Say it. I tend to react what happens instantaneous in the chat, though, especially if it's something oh, that... Oh, I don't have a problem. I'm just trying to see if you're trying to give me a secret code. No. I would say pineapple or something. You that... usually don't until, like, four hours later, and then you're like, I was trying to get you to stop. It's like... I don't understand your I have code. A, I have a secret hand sign. No, you don't. Your secret code is like... What are you doing? I was doing the hand sign, but you're not doing anything wrong right now. <laughs> what? What? What did people use to review games on before it was about before before they reviewed it about if they were pushing the envelope like socially or something? Uh, what was in the game like graphics, uh, graphics gameplay, gameplay, features, replayability? There you go. Um, let's see. What music, else? music, sound effects, DLC. Yeah. Why can't they just Why can't they just be objective and review the game on that? We actually used to, the publication I worked for, we didn't like it when they added DLC to games because we were on that side that, you know, disc, disc lock content was bad. <laughs> so my editor did not like disc lock content, so he would actually uh, mark points down for companies that did microtransactions. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. I guess, I don't know how he's reviewing games now. But... Uh, that company went out of business. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, that that publication I worked for, they went under. They got bought by another trade, and then they got shut down. Um, the other one that I worked for, the one in California, the radio one, um, that one is still... Actually, I don't know if that one's still around or not. Game Zone is still around, which is surprising. Game Zone was like that Florida company that was so like bare bones and like made me work insane hours. And they probably built their company off of your hard work and sweat. I don't know. I mean, if I was actually physically at the company and I wasn't like working, um, you know, over the internet with them, I probably would have made editor like years ago. Cause I did a lot. That company pushed me to the brink. I know. You worked two weeks for one review, and then they gave you fifty bucks. No, it wasn't two weeks. Uh, like with them, you had to do a review like within a couple. A re you had 72 hours to make a review and oh. I had they would only give me uh, three and a half days to make a walkthrough like a video walkthrough <laughs> oh my gosh or a tips and tricks thing yep and yeah I only made about like uh, I remember 50 your... 50 to 100 dollars a um, a article you did a huge tips and tricks series on monster hunter for them yep I did a uh, tips and tricks uh, video series for them on monster hunter Wii at the same time as pro Jared did on YouTube and I only made like uh, one hundred and twenty-five yeah. dollars for the series. I guarantee you, he watched your videos. It was it was eerie how similar they were. Yeah. Half the time, Luke would post videos. He would see like somebody post a video after him saying everything he just said. Well, it was a it was a pre-release thing too. So I mean, that was before like that was back when journalists would actually get stuff early, um, like a week or two, so you'd have time to put it together, and then the sites would get like early access, and then. My beginner's guide was very similar to what was released by Maker Studio, like partners, like a yeah, week or something did, later. They just did everything you said. Yeah, coincidence, maybe. No, it's not a coincidence. They stole. I can't accuse people. On. I can. I'm I'm too small a channel. It's a coincidence. Wink. Whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I guess I'll be fine. Yep. Just eat your noodles or whatever. Mm -hmm. Let it go, let it go. I'm done. I don't think you are. I am. I don't care. But yeah, that's that's kind of what it was like working with for publications, though, because you would... Uh, long hours, really lame pay, and uh, sometimes you would get exclusives, and other times, you know, uh, not so much. All depended. And then when more people got involved with it, you'd get less time to work. Um, the one series that I didn't really like working on um, that paid next to nothing was when they had me do the Final Fantasy XIII series. I did not like that game. And the reason why I grew to hate that game so much is because the company I worked for demanded a walkthrough series, a tips and tricks video series on how to get like some of the craziest summons in the game, which... I didn't really know how to do that, and I was expected to do that. Um, so, I mean, I literally spent mm, two or three... No, I don't think I slept for like four days when I worked on that series. And I got paid bumpkiss for it. 
And my editor just kind of gave me a pat on the back and then gave me another like big project, uh, Dante's Inferno or something like that. So, I mean, I quit that job uh, within six months. Like, I just, I couldn't deal with it anymore. I, I only worked for Game... No, I worked for GameZone for... Uh, from 2010 until... Uh, t uh, I think I made it to 2011. It was right around Arkham City is when I quit that one. But then I kept my other two jobs. You were working, like, for so many different publications. I was a ghostwriter for three publications. I was a video producer for two publications. And... I mean, if I made you... A if I made you a website, would you write, like, articles on no, it or No, probably not again. Mm -mm. Really? No, I'm done. No, I'm what just... What if I write terrible articles and then you get enraged looking at them and then you have to rewrite them? So... No, I don't, I don't... I don't want anything to do with that kind of stuff. I have no respect for game journalists anymore. Like, really? th there's been several cases of plagiarism. You've got pandering, outright pandering uh, to stuff. You've got people who don't play through the game fully when they do the reviews. Which, back in the day, you actually had to label your... If you did, like, a, a quick synopsis of a game, um, like your first couple hours playing it, whatever, you were supposed to label it as a first impressions. So now you've got big trade companies like GameSpot and some others that are labeling their cyberpunk reviews uh, as full reviews, like, you know, in-depth, when they've only played about four hours but of the game. You used to tell me that you felt frustrated back then in the day when... When you would hear somebody review the game after playing for an hour. Yeah, well, that's because if you... It wouldn't be a review, it would be called a first impressions. Because yeah. you can't you can't do a review of a full game that's like they're not 20 or 30 know. hours if you haven't at least beaten the story. Especially, like, you would tell me, like, they would critique the story and say they didn't really get much out of the story. When but they then they didn't finish the story. An hour, so they didn't yeah. actually even get to the main point of the story yet. Like, they were just... They played it for an hour and just made their review and threw it up when they didn't even know what the story was There, about. There used to be some, um... No, oh, darn. They were just getting it done fast. It no, like well, everybody everybody was in a rush to do stuff. But that's that's not... Everybody has always been in a rush to get their their stuff up first. That That's always been in the game industry. Whether it was IGN, GameSpot, um, whether it was uh, 1UP.com or, you know, any of those places. Everybody was always in a rush to get their product up first. Um, that's never really changed, and that kind of migrated over to YouTube. Okay, I, I thought that was a person. That was a car. That was dumb. <laughs> but, um, where was I? I was going with... I was saying that everybody wanted to just spend an hour in the game. Right. Game there... journalists and then get their review up, like, right away. Right, right, right. Uh, there's no problem with somebody, like, putting their uh, impressions of a game and their honest opinion. Review. But if you label it as a full review, meaning you've, you know, uh, you're saying that you've played through the whole game and then you start, like, like giving it a terrible score. And the problem is uh, some of these places, like IGN and all these other ones, they're automatically given... Um, credibility with places like Metacritic and things like that, so yeah. um, they can do no wrong. Even when they do something wrong, they're still... Because they're a big company, they can do whatever they want. Right, more or less. It's like, you're you're basically saying you've comprehensively looked at the entire game, you understand the ins and outs of it, and you're giving a review based on the entire game. But if you only play an hour, then you're lying, because you didn't look at the whole game. Right, and it doesn't necessarily have to be The Last of Us. Then you have to look over, you know... IGN, GameSpot, and some of these other, you know, uh, journalists, they're, they're, they have a nickname that I can't say on this channel. Oh, wow. Yeah, it, it has to do with, um, never mind. It, it's, it's okay. It starts with a U and ends in IST. <laughs> but mm. <clears throat> they've actually earned that nickname uh, from a lot of people. But, um, like, what you're supposed to do, and it was, this is 10 years ago, mind you, but my editor... If, uh, I had two editors. I had um, one gentleman who was uh, in the game industry since the 80s, or the early 90s. I think it was the early 90s because he worked for, like, um, paper. Like, he worked on magazines. Like, I think he wrote for Sony or something like that, Sony Magazine at one point. And then my other boss was a lady who um, came off... Uh, I'm trying to remember what she did. I think she worked in animation at one point. But both editors had the same rules and a lot of publications did back then it was play through the story make your review 
Um, because the reason why they would say play through the whole story of the game and not necessarily like all the bells and whistles is because majority of the people that are picking up the game are not completionists. They're not going to go through and find every secret and stuff their first playthrough. These are people that more or less are going to pick up the game and they're going to play through the story and normally what you would experience as a critic playing through the story is what a player would, you know, probably go through their first time through the game. And then you can make your review based on that assessment. That that was the normal of the industry for, I don't know, 20 years? Uh, that was just a basic requirement that everybody knew. And then as, you know, the age of the internet started with a lot of video reviews and stuff like that, IGN was the first one to get kind of lax with that. Mm -hmm. um, they would, uh, maybe they would go through the story, maybe they wouldn't. And then over the years, it just kept... The problem when you make exceptions is it just keeps the slope sliding down and down and down, which led to the latest controversy with GameSpot. And then GameSpot hid behind it for medical reasons. And I'm not knocking the lady for having epilepsy. I'm knocking her for lying uh, in an interview that she admitted that she didn't play most of the game. What like, does having epilepsy have to do with not doing her job? Well, Cyberpunk did some stuff that was kind of shady, um, where they actually didn't um, put in... Uh, a certain type of protection for when there's a lot of like strobing flashing lights because if the lights flicker for a certain amount of time it can trigger um, a seizure yeah. which goes all the way back to the 80s and other games like that. Well, I mean, what does that have to do with her review though? Um, she stopped playing the game because she was worried that she was going to have a lot of problems but then later she kind of lied about it and said that she didn't even play most of the game when she gave it a bad score. Why so, didn't she just have somebody else review the game? That's actually what you're supposed to do. If you have medical concerns and you are a game reviewer or whatever, you're supposed to pass the game off to somebody else. It doesn't have to do with accessibility. It has to be... It's You're a health risk and you're a danger to the company. You can't so just... you're supposed to... If you have... like When I had problems with the Tron games and other stuff, like I would actually have to pass off certain... Uh, I remember this. I had to give a colleague... Tron game. Um, some Game Boy Advance games to cover instead, and I switched to some of the PS3 games he was doing. That's how I got to the whole, you know, debacle with um, some of the really crazy games that I ended up playing that were mature rated back then, like for the company that yeah, I worked if for. Work, and if you work for a company, they give you. You're an supposed assignment. to switch if you if you cannot physically or health wise handle it. You are legally supposed to switch the game with somebody else on your team. Like, if, if you have epilepsy, you should not be playing Cyberpunk. Like, it's it's just, it's not like, oh, I'm harassing you, or, you know, my opinion trumps yours. It's like, legally, you're putting your company in jeopardy, because you're not supposed to do that. If you have medical concerns, by all means, you're allowed to work there, as but you shouldn't be playing a game that could cause you serious medical concerns. Yeah, as soon as you start to have the first problem, you should stop playing it and give it to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Like, even if they didn't have a warning... Like, honestly, you can, like, they can make a note of that, but you can't just sit there with the game but that's, and, that's and not, not play it. But that's not how the controversy it. even started, though. That's what she said, and then when she, I mean, basically, when these people, like, come out and say this stuff, and they get all this, like, uh, pats on the back from Twitter, then you have places like Kotaku and other people come and invite these people to interview, and that's when they slip up and tell the truth, like, well, I didn't even play most of the game. So it's like they basically tried to deplatform people who were, quote, attacking her when she wasn't attacked. Um, yeah. Criticism is not attacking somebody, especially for someone who didn't do their job. If I went on Twitter that day and said, you know, this is what you were supposed to do. You didn't play the game. You know, that's valid criticism. That's not harassment. That's what I would say, honestly. Um, you know, because, like, a lot of this could have been avoided, but they want... They want their cake and they want to eat it too. That's but, like, that's you, the problem with you it. You have lots of disabilities that have to do with not being able to travel and like I have half, lots of issues. Half the time when we've had to you know, like they've asked us specifically to go to California or something. I had to we've had get to my boss to have another it, uh, team member to yeah, do it. We've yeah, we've had to have somebody else go mm -hmm. yep. because we couldn't go. So like we couldn't just give the game a bad score because we couldn't travel. It doesn't make any sense. Yep. It's the same with not playing it because you have epilepsy. If you can't do it, it doesn't mean the game's bad. It means it doesn't fit you. Well, there was there's you know, aspects you, of the game that's bad, but I mean, you can't change the game just because 
Some people with epilepsy might not be able to handle it. Their game is the way they made it. They're not going to change it. Well, for no. A couple people. There was a couple things that they were supposed to legally do that they didn't. You that mean they like skipped. Say, like make no. A... There's there's a modern games for the most part have kind of gotten rid of a lot of the and there's supposed to be epilepsy warnings on most games. Like, yeah, like but a warning. when modern games went to like more 3D stuff and. Um, shied away from a lot of the, the flashing blue and red lights and things like that from yesteryear. Um, mm -hmm. There were certain things that have been implemented in, in actually designing the game that limits that. Yeah. But because this is like a, not necessarily Tron, but very neon, strobe, you know, club-ish vibe, they recreated some of the stuff. And strobe lights are a big no-no for most people with problems. Yeah. So... There are a couple scenes in Cyberpunk that they didn't limit the amount of flashing lights or whatever they did. They made some mistakes and just, you know, they thought nobody would really pay attention to it. And, you know, a couple people who had... It's not just her. I, I feel bad for but the dude with epilepsy as who As long as they put a issues. warning, like, why... Or maybe they could put two different versions There, There of is it. a warning, but they were they were going after them for other things. But the controversy that came from this was the beginning of the epilepsy... And then the reason why people came after her is because she lied about even playing the game. That's that's well, where that's all this snowball for lying. Right. Exactly. And that's like, that's what it was. I mean, that's what happened to Ultra Neko. She lied for years. She oh my gosh, games. I remember that name. That's I, I mean <laughs> I don't I wanna feel bad because like everyone wants to feel bad for girls and girls have a lot of feelings, but honestly, if you're gonna sit there and lie to everybody, then you're gonna get your feelings hurt because you lied to everybody. Right, but so I mean, it's kind of your fault. You know, it just I the more I see of of uh, quote modern journalism, it it's not really game journalism anymore because when I was trained, I was trained to cover the games. I was told to do it very quickly. Um, if I would have, uh, if Twitter would have existed ten years ago, and I was online complaining about a game being sixty hours that I needed to invest. My boss would see that, and I'd probably get yeeted, like, the yeah, next day. Yeah, you get fired. Because, I mean, game journalists don't sleep. You're not it, supposed it, to complain You about don't, it. you, I mean, if you're thinking of, like, a, a slave industry or someone that really, like, pushes you to the limits, it's game journalism. Game journalism, yeah. Game journalism is terrible pay, terrible hours, terrible benefits, and the only reason you do it is because you love video games. But then you end up hating them because they send you all these horrible games. Oh that my gosh! You yes. You don't want to play, but you have to play, and if oh, you don't yeah. play them, you won't get the next game. So, you won't get to continue. To uh, work the division there. that I worked for at one of the companies, I'm not going to say who, but they had me doing all the um, preschool games, like all the E through, uh, not even T rated. I didn't get to graduate and do like. They had me looking at things like license games, like SpongeBob, and because um, there were so many license games back uh, ten years ago, like 2005 through um, all those years, a lot of that weird stuff. So I I had to do write ups, serious write ups for things like The Mark of Zorro, and these games were terrible. And I was allowed to put my opinion in it, but at the same time, you know, my boss would tell me you have to kind of be careful not to, to go too much because this game is for little people. And it'd be like, why would little people want to play this? I played awesome things like Mario and all this other stuff. Like, why why would this be a thing? Seriously? Yeah, that's one thing I didn't understand. I mean, when we were told, like... What is this person's name? Because I'm, I'm just going to ban them. This is, this is just getting annoying. Luke, I have no weapon. Guys, please don't put walls in front of Luke. This is this is beyond trolling. Dude, I have no weapon. Stop. If you don't want to be permabanned, stop. Thank you. We'll try to look for their name. Let us know what their name is in the chat. So yeah, I mean like I'm I don't gonna... I don't mind it once in a while, but especially if I don't have any weapons, it's wicked annoying. Okay? Mm. Thank you. I don't even remember what I was gonna say. I but... was just saying, like they had yeah. me look at all oh, the weird stuff. I remember yeah, I remember when we were called by, you know, well, I can't say the name no, right now, but can't now say the I name would say... Because you'll get people trying to cancel you and go oh, back no, and I talk to your developers. I wasn't going to and... say the actual company name, but we were called by by game companies that made stuff that was E for everyone. Mm -hmm. Now it is called some... Or back then it was called something else. Yep. Now it's called E for everyone um, because of legal reasons. 
So, uh, these companies that would make E for Everyone games, such as, oh my gosh, there was that one zoo game made for that made for TV movie. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of licensed stuff. And we would say, oh my gosh, this game is so you know bad. Like this is horrible. If I was a youngling, I would never play this. And we would get phone calls from companies, and they would be like, "You need to go easier on it because it's just for younglings." But it was like, dude. Younglings have higher standards than this. Yeah. Like, I I remember I would get frustrated with the game. You know, you'd just be glitching out. You couldn't... You're running into the wall. You can't figure out where anything is. Half the time, the character you're supposed to meet and your, your contact character doesn't show up and you have to restart the game. You know, all these glitches happen. It's extremely frustrating. You can't figure out where you're going. Yeah. There's nobody to even explain what you're supposed to do next. Like, maybe you go into a room, there's a bunch of yellow dots, and there's just some characters and just sitting there and there's no dialogue. You're running around trying to figure out what you're supposed to do. There's just nothing going on. And it's like, if I'm getting frustrated, imagine, imagine youngling tiny me playing this game, there would be five broken controllers. I mean, they're telling me that younglings... I don't think your parents, knowing that you broke controllers, would give you five controllers to try to break. I'm just saying it's a dramatic effect. I'm just ah. saying, like... I'm just saying that, like, I never played... I never had to play that many games when I was young, younger. I only had five games for, like, 14 years. So, anyway, when I first started, um, most trades had me, like, covering really, really dumb games. Um, when I signed up, I thought I was going to get to do the stuff that my heroes from, like, GamePro and, uh, oh, Nintendo Magazine. I don't even remember what Nintendo Magazine was called anymore. It's been so long. Um, Nintendo Power. Like, I grew up reading Nintendo Power and GamePro and watching GamePro TV. And so when I was in the world of journalism for gamers, I, I was... You know, it was a rude awakening because it was nothing that I thought it was. Like, y there's no way um, that you would, your editor would let you look at, uh, you know, that top tier game. Somebody who's actually um, well known at the company and they've been there quite a while, you know, they're the ones that are going to get to look at the new Final Fantasy or they're the ones that are going to look at the new Mario or whatever. I'm going to get Dora the Explorer or whatever else. It was thanks to the internet um, when my boss saw some of my reviews for. Uh, on my personal channel that he actually allowed me to start doing some other things, but he dragged me out of my comfort zone and made me play games that I would never play on YouTube and yeah. had me do that stuff. And that was... Like Dante's Inferno. Dante's and Inferno, and I did... Uh, uh, a zombie... Kill uh, Bikini Zombie bikini, Slayers. Bikini Zombie Slayers. The only reason I did like a stream or whatever for that back in the day is because I was doing a write-up for one of the uh, Asian blog sites I worked for. Which is yeah. long gone. It merged with somebody else. Yeah, I, I've they, worked for so many different publications that some of them don't even really exist in the but, same sense anymore. But you're right, Luke. When you and I were younger, like our... Like in the 80s and 90s, like our standard for what a car an animated cartoon or what a game should be... Like we were playing Link to the Past Zelda. Mm -hmm. And now it's like they're they're giving you this... This game that's just like, oh my gosh. And think about like the cart animated cartoons that were on, you know, back then, like Johnny Quest and all this stuff. And now it's like you go on, on, on the, you know, TV and you see like Mickey Mouse and friends and they're just talking so slowly and it's all computerized. And it's like, dude, this is not what these young ones should be watching like they should be new... watching things like ducktales but ducktales got canceled more exciting than this like they actually canceled like, the new ducktales the standards for what they want to make for young people for games and also animated cartoons is just so low well like, you have to thank kappa for one thing like there is not really a lot of those like uh, really kitty games anymore because nobody can look at them so they yeah. don't make them anymore They'll never yeah. sell. And I mean, in, in some ways it's good. It got rid of them, but I mean, in other ways, there is nothing safe for younglings on the in the gaming world anymore because they destroyed it. You mm -hmm. know, they said they were going to make it safe for younglings and they destroyed all the safe companies. And I'm pretty sure I looked at a Vin Diesel game back in the day. Like, uh, my boss would make me play terrible stuff until, uh, you know, 
yeah, my YouTube channel days. I remember we had to play. Well, maybe it was me who forced us to play. I don't know. It was like some Ninja Breadman or something. That was like one of the worst games I've ever played. I had to review Ninja Breadman. Yep, it was I remember so that. Ter and then the Mushroom Man. Yep, Mushroom Man. It was horrible. I just. Some games, it's like you couldn't even get through. Like, it would literally glitch up no, so I, much. No, I got through them. Well, I mean, you could, but I, mean, I would not be able to get through. I was raging just watching you do it. I was, I actually, there's some games that I remember you, I wanted to try and help you or something. And like, I wouldn't, I think I actually got into tears because it was so frustrating to me. It's just like, like that's, that's how my game of rage goes. It's just like... To the point where I I don't it's so frustrating. You know, being a game journalist and being sent horrible games that you're forced to play. No, that's what it was then. Being a game journalist now it's like it it's a stepping stone for other uh Oh, so they don't actually do journalism anymore? No, I it's don't... Activision. Ac not Ac Activision. Ac Activist. Activists. Activism. Activism. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it that that's my thing. Like, you could take like Activision is still like around, you I could think. like you could take this game for instance, and you could you know be offended at the fact that he's walking on the grass, or you could get offended that no, I don't I don't think people would do that. Or you could get offended that they're polluting. No, with it's, whatever. It's not it's not that crazy yet. It's crazy, but no, it's I'm not. just saying. But you could if you were insane. But I'm just saying like you could do that, and then you could just. Instead of actually review this game, you could just sit there and just make the entire review about how offensive it is for him to walk on the grass. I mean, I grew up in a pretty small town. I've actually heard people get mad at me about get walking on the grass. Okay, that's that's kind of weird, but I've had I've been yelled at about walking on the grass. Yeah, you before. like some of your examples don't make sense. Like it it doesn't. I know, but that's whole my whole example is to show how absurd it is. Ah, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna eat myself. I don't see why you need to, but okay. I feel like I do. I feel like I need to be eaten. Ninja Bread Man was dank. I played it. No, you. It was. It was terrible. I, it was terrible. You lie. The the Mark of Zorro game on Wii, like that game was so bad. Oh darn. You should do a playthrough of the Halo series. I'm not really good at shooters, though. Amber, are you gonna cook something? No. Oh, I, I I heard you opening the window. I'm closing the window because it's freezing outside. Oh yeah, it is cold outside. It's like you have fear of me cooking. Every three seconds, your little nose is like sniffing around the air, going, "Oh my gosh, she's about to cook something." She's gonna cook some food. Oops. Well, I mean, your cooking is scary, though. When the ingredients are, you know. So, I mean, I mean, maybe, maybe someday, you know, I'll, I'll incorporate. Uh, I think they're trolling you, Amber. But anyway, I do like the the biggest. Um, oops of my career uh, back then uh, when we covered um, the Zorro game extensively and not long after the Zorro game came out the company like went full out of business and uh, you know it, it felt bad because you know these guys were so hyped about their Zorro thing they loved Zorro to death and they made a terrible game it was just it was a really really bad game um, but you talked to the guys on the phone. They were really nice. Um, I did a radio interview with them uh, Both the artist and all these other people were really cool, but the game was just garbage. So I mean you felt bad About it. I especially I felt terrible when um, I read on the radio that the because I used to do game radio I, I can't say the name of the company, but I you know I would sit in for that every once in a while and I had to read the report that that game studio went out of business. And I remember I trashed their game like maybe two months before. 
along with, you know, just about every other trade. You but monster. I felt terrible because one guy just had a baby. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, he and his wife, they had a kid, and um, they were a new, uh, semi-new game studio. They were responsible for a lot of those Dora the Explorer games, and they were branching out with Zorro. They loved Zorro. Why? And the game was horrible. Nowadays, if that happened... Like, the journalist and the company responsible for trashing their game would probably be canceled on Twitter wow. because even though the game's terrible, it was made by someone who isn't white. So. That, oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Wait, so maybe, maybe, maybe people who have pale skin shouldn't have opinions then. They're not allowed to have an opinion anymore. Is Ring Fit coming this uh, Friday? Uh, yeah, Ring Fit is coming. I'm just terrified of it. I don't know when it's coming. I took it out of the box once or twice, but I, I don't really... But we never thought about stuff like that. No, you never thought of things like that back then. then we... Like 10 years ago, you just did your job. And now nobody can do their job. Yeah. That's why there's a lot of mediocre games that survive, though, because it all depends who the developer studio is that made the game. That, that's the honest-to-God truth. Well, maybe you should market yourself more Portuguese. I should just... just if you... If you, no. you should start speaking Portuguese. No. Um, if, you make, if you make a game or something, you should find every way of hiding your identity and just, like, be ambiguous. <laughs> Basically, wear like a Power Ranger costume Don't and a helmet. Same if you're a journalist. But I've I've seen games worse than the Mark of Zorro that are allowed to exist in the space today, and the only reason they're still around is because if you look at the the developers themselves, they, you know, they fit that criteria of Twitter check mark, and that's why they're still there, even though the game's terrible. And if you say anything bad about their game, oh my gosh. It's like the end of the world is coming after you, even though you're honest. So, I mean, I can't I can't be a journalist in 2020 uh, because I wouldn't be able to do my job. I would be if I if I got uh, hired at IGN again or one of those places, I would be fired in a week, probably most likely. Most likely. Yes, the Shantae series, uh, more or less, that's correct. I know how to use the microwave, me too. But the reason why Shantae was rated T has to do with her appearance, that's correct. Um, Shantae went through a lot of, uh, we'll say challenges with, I used to know people at the, um, uh, oh, what was the name of their agency? No. They have a name, ESRB. I used to, because there was um, a buddy of mine who used to be a journalist who went over to the ESRB. I don't think he's still there anymore, but I remember uh, when people were talking about Shantae. Like, the, the most controversial stuff in the industry 10 years ago was like Shantae's attire and some other stuff. Nowhere near what it is today. Nowhere near. Like, it was tame censorship stuff. If you're going to be round three... Check this. All games will be amber. Okay. All games would be against uh, amber and Yu-Gi-Oh. Interesting. Thanks for the super chat, Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, you don't want to play Luke? Your toaster <laughs> broke. Oh no. I, I feel bad. When is when is Pikmin after this month? Pikmin will be every other month. I'm switching January for some Mario Party game, most likely on GameCube. Okay. Well, I'll play you, Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, I'm not very good, but thank you, and thanks for the super chat. Um, we might be revisiting Batman Brave and the Bold, uh, like, before New Year's or in January. We'll see. Mmm. I think I have to eat this oh, team yeah. and try again. When will Pikmin be this month? Uh, Pikmin will be this weekend. Okay, th thanks, Brady. Thanks, guys. No offense, guys. I gotta eat you and try again. Is this skin a good skin? I mean, it's Master Chief. If you like Master Chief, yeah. It's a good skin. It's cool looking. 
I mean, you can't really see it here, but... I mean, if you want to see the skin better, you have to go here. I mean, I think the detail's great. I like that they show uh, he's taking some damage. He's got a little bit you know of battle what? damage to him. May I say something weird and bizarre? Depends what it is. Okay. So, if... I think it's too weird. Okay. Okay, that's fair. Basically, like, with all the craziness that people are go doing and stuff, Right now, with like always, like expecting like game companies to pander to like different groups and stuff like this, like not to be weird, but if I was um, God to like punish humanity right now, I would just like put everyone through that machine from Dr. Seuss where everyone would come out as clones of each other and be exactly the same. Everyone would look exactly the same, and then nobody would be different from anyone else. And if no one was unique, then no one would be. I'm gonna eat myself from the stream right now. Huh? I wasn't what? even paying attention. I was uh, looking at Master Chief. You know what? Just forget everything I said. Okay. I'm just saying it would solve problems if we were just all clones and nobody had any unique personality or looked different at all. I'm trying to think what the big game that I thought I was even gonna get to review when I first started as a journalist. I'm trying to remember what games were really big in 2003 and 2004. I think it was Tales of Symphonia, but I didn't get to look at it. Somebody else on my team did. I had to look at Adora or the Explorer or, you know, every once in a while there'd be like a good Kim Possible game or something like that. But yeah, it wasn't until like 2007 that I actually got to do real, real, quote, game journalism. And that's because of my YouTube channel was taking off. And, you know, but it wasn't, my job changed. I wasn't allowed to really write anymore. They hired somebody to do write-ups, and I, I led the uh, department with, um, one of the departments with video reviews. But it was basically my own technology. I think the reason why I even got a promotion is because I had the ability to capture um, HD gameplay of, well, it was kind of HD, back in 2008, 2009. Because um, I'd used one of my full paychecks to, to get, like, a Hopage uh, capture creator thing after a friend from IGN told me that's what they were using. So, you know, that's when I got all the insane, like, time requests to basically record all kinds of game footage, and... Ugh, oh, that was a crazy time. I should have asked for more money back then, but I was just happy not to be covering Dora the Explorer and, like, Spongebob games. <laughs> oh my gosh. Would all women be the same and men? Uh, I don't know. Who won the Spidey contest? I'm glad you asked that because we actually have to pick another winner because I'm pretty sure the uh, Some young, uh, the, the young man that I uh, he, I, I got a hold of, he never what? never responded. So, I mean, I'm going to have to do a live giveaway of Spider-Man tomorrow because, I mean, you know. You were on PS4. It's cross compatible. Yeah, it's cross compatible. This game is cross compatible. Report from. Ah, here we go. But that would solve all the problems if we were all clones of each other. We all look exactly the same. Nope, he never replied, so I'm just. I'm removing my uh, thing. I'm. It's not even on his channel anymore. I deleted my comments. So yeah, we'll be giving away Spider Man Live tomorrow. If you guys are interested in owning a copy of Spider-Man on PS4 or PS5, live all, tomorrow. I would put all of human beings into this huge jar, and then I would morph all the continents together, smash them together, and make everyone speak the same language and just throw them out on the earth. I contacted ten people for that Spider-Man thing, and nobody, um, nobody got a hold of me. It's like, you know, I also like. Uh, I guess I forgot to tell people they needed to be subscribed for the contest. So, that's my bad. Um, next time I do a contest, I need to be clear about that, because it's hard to get a hold of people that aren't subscribed. That's my bad. But anyway, uh, Spider-Man contest tomorrow night. That means you guys will get to see some PS5 gameplay of Miles Morales. Live giveaway, where we'll try again. And by the end of the night, someone will be getting a code, because I gotta get rid of it. Because I promised Sony. 
it's Miles. Miles Morales. Many things Amber does is the disturbing. I don't even know what you're talking about anymore at this point. Wait, is that the Mandalorian ship? Oh my gosh, it is. Can you go inside of it? No. Wow, I didn't know his ship was there. Wait, is that a ship or is that... Is that Halo stuff? It looks like the Mandalorian ship. Swear to God, that's the Mandalorian ship. Yeah. No, I can't really get stream sniped right now. I'm I'm at a 25 second 20 second delay. I'm not even I'm not streaming on uh, ultra low latency. No. So I mean, I I got some chances. Better than like a three second thing. There was probably some stream sniping involved, but not as bad as the other time because I've actually I'm not playing on ultra low latency. I played too much of that Tetris game last night that I actually dreamed of being a Tetris block. It was so weird. Thank you. Mhm. Mm Uh, I'm glad Master Chief was tonight. But my gosh, I can't wait to play Sephiroth. This is going to be so dope. Tim is here, Tim is there. Yep. Tim is, has read, Tim is, I don't know. I, I'd have to watch the original playthrough to remember all the Tim lines. Tim is strong and he has long hair. Tim is here. <laughs> Tim is there. <laughs> yep. Tim has a pretty face. He's about to see. You have to. You have to find the lyrics. You have to. You have to find the lyrics. And I can't even tell you what episode that was on. Does anybody know how many videos we've made in 2020? Like as 2020 is ending, how many videos did the K Wings make? I'm gonna say 600 videos this year. That's my guess. Between the streams and the uploads, I'm gonna say over 650 videos is, is how many we were able to make this year. That's my guess. Because we stream almost twice a night, and there's 30 days in a week, a month. 30 days in a month. So... That means we're doing almost 60 streams a, a month. Almost. Probably like 50 streams a month, give or take. Uh, two to three uploads a day. Was 2020 also the year of the Phoenix Wright LP, or that was last year? That was last year. Doesn't matter, there's a, a new Ace Attorney collection coming out. It's going to come out in the spring. Excited. Although I've never really played the Apollo Justice game, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys a little spoiler for that series. I kind of knew what was going on because I'd played the original DS games. I mean, sometimes I would stumble a little bit because I didn't quite remember all the cases, but eventually I would start to remember the cases. It was all new for Amber. Like, Amber had no idea what was going on with Ace Attorney. Because even the anime, the anime didn't fall, like, word for word everything that happened in the, uh, in the game. So, you know... But I did, I had to play uh, some of those Ace Attorney games um, for my job. Like, I remember doing a write-up for one of the Ace Attorney games on Game Boy Advance. Unless I did two of them. I think I did two. But I can't tell you the names of them, I don't remember. So long ago. I still feel like there was more Ace Attorney games on Game Boy Advance because they just didn't have enough space, they had to break the games up. But I could be wrong. So long ago, my memory's going. My memory's going! Shut up! Soon he'll be an old man. Stop it! My gosh. I had a horrible day at the doctor's today. They like, they basically... I'm having an issue with my foot and it's like kind of discolored. 
like pretty bad or whatever. And then the doctor was basically like, huh, we haven't really seen cases in this in people that aren't elderly. And I was just like, okay, that's awesome. And they're like, um, this might be hard to do, but we're going to sign you up for an ultrasound and we're going to send you to a neurologist to check your legs. And it's like, that's awesome. Thanks. I, I wanted to, yeah, that's, that's, that's great. She's like, you're only 37, so it doesn't really make sense. Yeah, she even repeated it. It was yeah, like, because she, like, she was shocked. She's like, "You're you're 37, right? You're not 40 or or older." It's like, "I'm I'm 37." Yeah, but I told her like, "We've had a lot of problems with his feet when he was younger." Yeah, it's weird. Uh, but at least I'm finally gonna get my jaw looked at, so that makes me happy. But I have to go to the dentist to do it. I hate the dentist. Dentist always causes me pain. I did. When I was young, like, I used to wish everyone would go to sleep and everyone would wake up all looking exactly the same. Ugh. What? Like, no, thank you. There wouldn't be any differences in anybody and then nobody could get mad at anyone for being different. Even if you removed everybody's individuality... And like everybody looked the same, they would still find a way to kill each other and hate each other. Oh yeah. People would hate each other even if we all look the same. They would find some reason. That's just that's, mean, that's humanity. So if you're saying that people don't really hate each other for looking different, people just hate each other because people hate each other. I mean that's my theory. And they're just using it as one excuse to hate. Because, I mean, I don't even uh, recognize the world the way it was. And, like, it feels like the 80s was kind of like a utopia compared to now. Yeah, I don't 80s, I don't recognize anything. Really? Like, if, uh, on Twitter, if I say I have a, a friend who's African-American, people will say that I am, uh, I'm trying to be a champion for my friend. Whereas, when I was a kid, I would tell my parents, I'm going over to Christian's house. And it's like, they'd be like, okay, have fun, or be safe, don't talk to strangers. Now if I, I say I'm going to hang out with somebody, it's like, oh, you're just taking a picture of this guy because you're trying to prove that you're not an R person. It's like, th this is just my friend Mac. Well, what if I go to their house all the time? <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. So, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't really work in this, this world because it, I don't... It's, this world is it, yeah, it doesn't make sense to me. Aw, oh, darn. It doesn't make sense. Like, I'm just trying to hang out with a friend of mine, you know? Uh, that's part of the reason why I'm not super active on my Instagram either, because I, I people, you know... People get mad at us, especially when we were first married. People used to get mad at us and being like, well, you don't actually like hanging out with your wife. You don't like actually being with her, because, like... Okay, this guy might be stream sniping, and I killed him. Yeah. It's, like, um, why not? it's just, it's just weird. I, I think it's stupid. And I, I don't, I don't, I don't see any changes. Like, people are just jerks to each other 24-7. So, I mean, that's, you know, why I mostly talk about games and just kind of ignore the world. Because the world sucks. Mostly. Is... Well, it was. The problem is you have a lot of crazy people coming into gaming yeah, that are trying to a... change it. Ah. Uh, we have gaming profile pictures of like Sailor Moon or like. Well, we can't have Sailor Moon because uh, we had to eat any type of Sailor Moon stuff because there are certain things that you can't actually do parody art of. Like, there's actually a list of things that it's okay to resell, and like you can do like cosplay stuff. But there are other properties that you never ever, if you're gonna sell products as a YouTuber or a content creator, you can't have like any Batman stuff, you can't have any like DC or uh, properties like that in your merch because you will get sued. Meant, Same thing with anime, you can't I have Sailor Moon, one, Dragon I'm Ball. Saying, I'm not trying to say about merch, I'm just saying like people's profile pictures are just characters, so nobody has any idea what any of us look like 
on our couches that we're all like hanging out on or most people don't play on their couches they actually re like they have chairs at their little desks whatever well your chairs at your desk wherever you guys are sitting on the floor in the middle of the forest whatever you know you guys have your gaming profile pictures so nobody knows what anyone looks like or sounds like so it's like people are just playing games together online so you don't have to it kind of like goes around everything so nobody's worried about all this weird stuff that people are trying to push everyone into and society all right that dude is that person's following we live me. in a society you just gave me the sign yep so yeah that's what i'm saying is that that's what i like about gaming is it doesn't matter like it it honestly doesn't matter okay i'm done all right. Uh, if any of my people who are playing could shadow me, because I got a dude who keeps chasing me. Like this is the fourth time the Mandalorian guy keeps coming after me. So what are the other game? What are the other games that you thought were good at the, that should have won like awards at the gaming show before? Besides like Ghost of Tsushima. Um. What other games were good? Final Fantasy. I wanted Final Fantasy VII. I wanted Hades to win something. What's Hades? Hades is actually a really cool. Um, like, it's kind of like a hack and slash or a beat 'em up. Yeah. Yep. How come Danielle son didn't win anything? Who would play that game? We did. Well, yeah, but you're not gonna get any awards for that Karate Kid game. It didn't get nominated for anything. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Genshin Impact got uh, yeah, mentions. Yeah, Genshin Impact. But it, it won nothing. Um, Genshin Impact. Uh, Did Fortnite win all the awards? No, Fortnite didn't get anything. Sadness. They keep working so hard, though. Yeah, but Epic's getting what? a reputation. People what? don't really like them. But everybody's playing them. I know, that's the funny thing. Um, what about, Among Us won what about all the mobile stuff. Super Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers isn't a new game. Wait, I don't, Among I don't Us think is you... on a mobile thing? Yeah, Among Us is mobile. They're probably what now about... going to be on consoles. Oh, Among Us! Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, you said Among Us. I was thinking of a different game that I thought was Among Us, and then when I said Among Us again, I realized it, you were talking about Among Us when you said Among Us. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about Among Us. <sighs> the game with space people where you have to see who's lying. Yeah, more I or less. I did download it on my phone. I couldn't understand how I was supposed to play it. I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's a game where you find out whether or not you are the killer or if you are innocent. And then, it sounds like some weird game I would play at camp, though. Wait, what type? Who would play that game at camp? I played type all of, kinds of weird games like that at camp. You played murder mysteries at camp? Yeah, there was like a game where we would, where we had, it was like called Murderer. And like you would like go and like you would tap people on the shoulder. Everyone close their eyes, you tap people on the shoulder and you would be like, I can't. If you tap them on the shoulder, then you would have they would have to fall down dead. What kind of camp did you go to? I went to a lot of camps no, growing let, up. Let me let me explain. I went See, to 4-H camp. Amber, I went to like I don't what? I don't think you understand. Usually game awards are supposed to be on games that have just come out that year. Like you're supposed to be celebrating but, the, but what here's, if people are still playing a game from four years ago? That's what happened. Well, I mean, not from four years ago, two years ago. So, Among Us came out with literally no one talking about it two years ago. And then... Why are people suddenly talking about it now? Because of quarantine. Like, everybody was oh. playing that game. Oh! Right. So, a new release like, um, we'll say Genshin Impact, which was a new mobile game that came out this year, uh, came out in August, I think? Genshin Impact is a mobile game? Oh, I yes. thought it was just on the... No, it's a mobile game. I, if I wanted to continue playing it, I, oh I would my gosh, play on my you phone. You can play it on the... Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I should just leave again. I'll eat myself again. Wow, you eat yourself quite a bit. <sighs> it's better yes, than the blanket it, of sheep. It was a mobile game. Oh, I got more Mandalorian armor, but my helmet is still all messed up. Okay, then. That's fun. Mm. Uh, what kind of games did you guys think should have won Game Award games? I would have wanted... Yeah, 
Among Us got really popular because of streamers, and now they're making a law against streaming. Senpai, if you decide to do a video of Cyberpunk, do not show the character customization. It's pretty adult. Yeah, I know, David. Um, but I have to wait until they patch it, because I don't want to get sick. Um, I mean, I, I don't really have... Well, epi can't you just... Ah, I don't have, like... I don't have a history of epilepsy, but I would always get sick migraines. with flashing lights. Like, I get really bad migraines, I throw up. Um, that's not really stroke-like, but it it hurts my eyes and makes me sick. Brandon said Sony did not say a word at the Game Awards. Sadness. Well, I mean, their, their studio cleaned up, though. Um, what was I going to say? Well, no, if, I, I have a code for Cyberpunk. I just haven't done it yet. I'm ready to do it. I'm going to do it now. What? I'll do it now. I'll make an episode and then we can upload it. I have to edit. I know, but I'm saying if you want... Why don't you tell me you have a code? I have a code. I haven't installed what, it yet. What is it on? PS5? PS5? Can I install on the PS5? And I'll and, install it after this. And I will make an episode and then we can edit it and then you can edit that part out and then upload it. I... How would I be able to edit it if I have a problem with the fl Never mind. Fine, You're then I will sense. edit it. You walk me through editing it. I don't even know where it shows up. Like, it, it shows up in Night City a couple times. But wouldn't I know where it is if I played it? I guess. I'm a human being. Can you not see that? I'm a person. Right, but I'm not... We don't tend to be awake at the same time. I will be awake. I'm awake okay. right now. All right. I'm awake right now. So are you. How are we not awake at the same time? Yes, I know Miles Morales isn't going to have DLC. Ha! <laughs> Chad! Oh, that's terrible, but funny. That's terrible. That's funny, though. Um, Don't yeet yet after stream is over. I miss Gotham and Fortnite. You never know. Wait, can you be a girl or a guy character in a... In the cyberpunk game? BMX, I am not carrying the entire squad. What are you talking about, man? I'm terrible at this game. Luke, can you be a guy or a girl character in cyberpunk? Yes. But you want to be a guy character so you can be Keanu Reeves? You're Keanu Reeves anyway. You're a girl version of Keanu Reeves? No, he's in your head. He's basically... You know how Joker followed you around? And, like, yeah. talked to you and wasn't around? That's yeah. Keanu Reeves. So Keanu Reeves is a... Why would Keanu Reeves be in your head? Because you download him in your head. Why? So Keanu Reeves can have tons of screen time. <laughs> I don't know. That's the backstory? Is uh, it... Apparently, yeah. Is an actor needs more screen time? So no, 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 no. He had a hand in, in making Oh, okay. Stuff. I thought that was his backstory. He does a... <laughs> don't knock Keanu Reeves. He does a great job. But that it's basically the Joker premise of, you know, somebody who's not there, who's taunting you the entire game and telling you about stuff. Um, that's, that's cyberpunk. You know, with cool neon 80s attire. Uh, like, you know. Will you guys play Among Us? I want to play Among hey, Us, actually. Hey, Galen, yeah. how's it going? Yeah. Um. Yeah, but I don't know. Luke has a device over there that I can plug into my phone and stream Among Us, but I don't know how to use it. So whenever I'm exhausted... Wait, where is the device? Then I get up in the morning and Luke's not going to be awake for like, I don't know, 12 hours. So when Considering I'm, I've only had four hours sleep today, I'm I think ready, I'm doing pretty good. When I'm ready to stream in the morning when I actually get up... Whoops. And I'm thinking, oh, I could stream something. And I look for the device to stream. I have no idea how to set it up, so then I just don't do anything. And I go back to it whatever doesn't, I it do. It doesn't have directions for blood. Talking to a family member on the phone. Tweeting about how my life is hard on Twitter. Doing more dishes. Honestly, I would stream more if somebody was awake to help me figure out how to hook everything up. Can you ask me a question? Sure. I wouldn't say Cyberpunk... Punk is the most overhyped uh, game. I think it shares that award with The Last of Us. I don't know. Like, I don't really think that Cyberpunk is really going to be that good. Cyberpunk had too many problems. But it, I it think, shouldn't have released this year. I think it year. will be cool because of the music. Is oh, it is. It, it's cool. Like, that's how I... That's I, the reason why I would want to play it is that for some kind of dystopian future with... You know, like crazy, like I don't know, electronic metal music or something. They so were funky. they were trying to, they were trying to uh, beat out 
um, Sony stuff, and and uh, you know, Cyberpunk wasn't ready yet. Cyberpunk has a lot of problems with it, and you know they needed another six months of development time, probably, and it would have been much better. But the game's gonna get better with patches. See, that's the problem. Like the game's gonna improve with patches, just like No Man's Sky did. No Man's Sky, when it first released, it was terrible. Everybody hated No Man's Sky. Like No Man's Sky was the butt of the industry. Oh. Um, but after all these years, I noticed No Man's Sky actually won an award at the Game Awards. <gasps> and I'm like, wait a second, are we talking about the same game? But, you know, they transformed it and they fixed it later. Yeah. But when it first released, it was a dumpster fire. Like, I'm not saying Cyberpunk is a, is so, a dumpster fire, but it released with a lot of problems. So you can... I have a question. So you can create a game, it can be generic... Hmm. Or not that great, and then two years later you can win an award for it after you fix it. No, the only reason that you want they won an award is because of all the people playing it right now. Nobody played it in 2018. Okay, but if you fix your game and everybody starts to play it when it's better, then you can win an award. Then. I guess. I mean, out of That's all those weird. weird like party mobile games, you would think Fall Guys would have won, but it, Fall Guys didn't win this year either. Um, yeah, Brandon, we heard about that. Thank you, Sakurai. Is yep, we know about that. We're going to do a stream Thank on that. Thank you. Um, Hi, I like, uh, I like your voice, you know? Thank you. Thank you. Keanu Thank Reeves, you. after the reveal of the game, award winner, he went full John Wick and killed people on the streets with a pencil and a book. Are you serious? Cool. Um, yeah, um... Mm, um, what were people gonna say? Yeah, Brady, the character customizer uh, got some attention that it shouldn't have. There's a... I can't talk about it, but uh, you can do some... I think some everyone can use their imagination. Pretty bad stuff with it. If people say the character customization is bad, it probably means stuff like adding Hello Kitty ears and things like that. Oh, Fall <laughs> Guys won best community game? Oh, it did? Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. I mean, Fall Guys is brand new, but it, it feels like it's dropping off. Only reason I would want to play Cyberpunk is for the music. I honestly think the game is going to be, like, scarier than, like, Resident no, Evil. No, it's basically, like, S Grand Theft Auto with cyborg elements. I don't really like Grand Theft Auto. There are a lot of people that do. Well. Oh. Can I play with you, K-Wing, from Gaming Utopia? Um, yeah, anybody can play, I think. I, I would not public, right? I wouldn't say the Game Awards were rigged. They were planned. Like, they already knew people who were going to win before. None of that stuff... Here's the thing, guys. That stream that you watched tonight, that was all recorded. They did this days ago. So, I mean, they picked the winner weeks ago before people even got to vote. You know, because it's the, quit yeah, it's the Critics Award Show. Luke... A can couple I a couple years ago, the Game Awards was live, but that was all pre-recorded. Luke, yes. people are wondering, can anyone play right now, or just people that are on your friends list? Only people on my friends list can play, are and I, I can't... Are you ever go public, or no? It doesn't matter. Apparently, if I play with people publicly, it's still people on my friends list. Like, I would love what? to be able to just... Yeah, I would love just to be okay. able to play with regular people. Well, but... there's some people trying to play with you that are in the chat, and your friends list is full. Yeah, my friends list is always full. I can't but get rid of it. Why can't you just play public... It doesn't work that way. I've tried to do that. You can see I'm even set up... There's no way you're going to be able to stay up. You're already yawning left and right. Stay up from making a cyberpunk video. No. See how it says I'm public right now, and I'm playing... It doesn't say playing with friends, but apparently people have to have my friend code or whatever to play with me. I don't know how it works. Um, what don't was the live point? stream Among Us on phone. There's a lot of ads. How are you supposed to play it? What What was the point? Well, you can probably purchase the ad-free version, maybe. What is the point of voting, then? The point of voting is for the Gamer's Choice Award, which was won by... People. Um, what was the one that won Gamer's Choice, Luke? Ghost of Tsushima? Uh, Ghost of Tsushima, yeah. There you go, Chad. That's the point of voting, is to get that. I am deeply sorry. I am deep... I don't know. <laughs> Alright, I am deeply sorry that we can't seem to play with, like, non-friends. Like, yeah. I don't know what's going on. Luke's, Luke's friend list is full on... Fortnite. I don't know why they don't let him add more people. Hey, Christmas tree, ready up. 
Christmas tree ready up. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm all, I'm probably going to be like, oh, yeah, I want to play Cyberpunk. This is going to be so cool. And there's probably going to be, like, crazy, like, I don't know, zombie, like, future zombie things, like, coming at my face and stuff. And then I'm going to run out of the room screaming and there's be no like, zombies. I can't do this. Not from what I saw. I saw some weird trailer with some freaky things in Those them. are cyborgs. Oh, if those things come at me, I'm going to have to run out of the room. I don't know if I'll be able to handle it. Ready up, fisherman! I don't know if I can record the whole episode then. I mean, I would like to... I was hoping... Uh, no, maybe maybe Friday or Saturday I'll be able to do um, Assassin's Creed again. But I don't know. I mean... Fisherman, ready up! Let's go! Let's go! I keep watching the Sephiroth trailer. I know. Me too, Alex. Agreed. All right, guys, you gotta ready up, cause you're you're holding people up, holding me up too. I have a sandwich Unf ready for try me. Try unfriending everyone that you don't know. It's it's so hard. Kind of hard because, because every every month we have we have a different like, group that watches us. We have, I mean, like most people, we can't recognize most people's usernames. Like I no. can't remember all of them. How many friends you have? Four hundred. He has four hundred and ninety-nine friends. Where does it say that? Oh, it says four hundred and ninety-nine right there. Oh, I see that. Okay. I mean, I don't know. Right, that person hasn't been ready for quite a while, so <sighs> I gave him a shot. Are you guys doing Christmas with the K wings? A small one. Yes, Luke is gonna film me. Little cameras. I have to somehow get this whole area cleared out for that, so, yay. It's gonna be, I mean, I I just got Luke's t-shirts today online, so we're gonna do Christmas with the Kamings. I mainly got Luke t-shirts. I don't really have anything else for him. So hopefully you got me something, don't forget. I'm gonna shop tonight. Well, do you want me to put some stuff in save for later on Amazon? Or do you if think you, you can handle it? If you want to, you can. Mm. That's always a big help, but I had some things in mind I wanted well, to get if you. if you have things in mind, then just forget it. But if you put some stuff in save for later, don't check Amazon, because then you'll see what you got. Well, I mean, you're going to check Amazon. No, I'm not. I don't check, like, the, uh, the mm. cart. I just hit the pay button. Are we going to get any more matches in, or is that it? Well, I mean... That might be it. Oh, I should have gotten you that t-shirt. I already bought you some t-shirts. But I saw this t-shirt. It says, I love my wife. But in the fine print, it says, I love when my wife lets me play video games. I don't see how that shirt applies to me, though. What? What do you mean? This is my job. <laughs> Does you let me do my job? I don't know. Uh, see, that would be funny for like... I don't know. I mean, it's cute. It's just a t-shirt. Yeah, I know. Gosh. Not what very, am I supposed not to Not a do? very accurate t-shirt. Fine, t -shirt. I'll just make a t-shirt that says, I play video games all day long. Hardly have time to talk to my wife or eat or sleep. No, nope, I talk to you. I don't remember you talking to me today. What happens if I have Kratos' hammer? Do I? Oh, I do! I get more. I get more emotes. Yes! There we go. Kratos' axe. Yeah! Mix and match and franchises! Ha <laughs> ha! That's cool. You I like that. I need to get this pet collar for... No. Zelda doesn't wear collars. She's... Look at that! I just... I just combined Sony and Microsoft in one... Epic Luke, move. That, that's disturbing. The, the fabric Leviathan of, axe. The fabric of reality is ripping apart. Held by Master Chief. You're making me feel uncomfortable. Ah. You're making everyone feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Mm. Why are you making us all feel odd? Because I can. I feel like leaving and eating myself. I've combined two two franchises. Among Us on PC don't have ads. All right, thank you. Can I ask you guys a question? Yes, Manny. I've been waiting for whatever your question is there, dude. 
Ask away. Any comic book news for DC Comics? Yes, they have announced who the new Batman is. New Batman is Tim Fox, who made his first appearance in 1979 DC Comics, and he's been an estranged son of Lucius Fox for 30, 40 years. Uh, this is the first time he's randomly showed up, and he is nothing like Luke Fox. You probably will hate him. Luke Fox had character development. Uh, he was away in the military. It was a cool character. What I remember from Tim Fox, he was an entitled brat who slammed the door quite a bit and hated his dad. So this Batman is going to have daddy issues, like me. family issues, and he is probably going to pander to a lot of people. He's not... Will they he... should have They should have made it Luke because Luke is a character everybody knows. I would have even had it been Signal, honestly, because hasn't Batman been training the Signal for like some time to take over? And oh, no. as his sidekick and stuff like that. And then they just kind of like... This is why I don't like when they introduce new characters... And they don't, like, really have an outline for them. Like, the the signal was supposed to be uh, a character that was supposed to be a vigilante during the day and part of the Bat family and have, like, this whole future planned out for him. And now that's all been kind of replaced with whatever their future state thing is. Okay. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Oh, I'll just sit over here and not talk to you. You are, you are sitting over there. You need to blow your nose. Yeah, Damian Wayne's future's all messed up now, too. Luke, I think I'm gonna give you a hug and then go to sleep. I mean, it's almost midnight. Was I supposed to do something tonight? Oh yeah, I was supposed to wait up till you were done so I could get some laundry done. So you can't do... Any DC movie related news? No, nothing of interest. It's all Marvel right now. I can't do laundry while you're streaming because it'll rip apart the fabric of the stream. Yeah, it'll mess up the uh, bandwidth. <sighs> I used to have cake pans. It's depressing to ask for utensils for the kitchen for Christmas. Why are we not... I think I need to exit out of the team again. Sorry, guys. Okay. I'm going to have to kick you guys and try again. Unless there's... I think everybody's... No, there are people that aren't ready that are holding people up. Yeah. Well, nope, never mind. Cake pans! That's a very nice cake pan. You want a cake pan for Christmas? I don't know. Okay. Do you want me to have a cake pan for Christmas? I think it got messed up. I'm just gonna... Sorry, guys. I'm gonna get rid of everybody. Try again. Eight-inch cake pans. Uh, you get two of them for the price of one. Mm, when Batman Gotham Knight comes out, are you all gonna do two-player? You bet. Sometime next year. What is your favorite Robin? Um, Tim Drake. Oh. What do you think of I'm Not Starfire writing Detective Comics? Um, even though she made a self-insert book, I think that she'll do a good job with DC Comics Detective Run because she is writing DC Tech, uh, Detective Comics Dark Detective, uh, the Bruce Wayne future state thing. Uh, as long as she doesn't go too crazy with it, but, I mean, if it's anything like I Am Starfire, then Detective Comics will be canceled by Warner Media the first time in probably, I don't know, 75 years. Um, uh, Detective Comics is, like, the longest-running comic book in history. Um, it's been around since, like, 1930, I think? I want to say 38 was the first Detective Comics maybe because batman was 39 and detective comics was around for a while um so i mean i don't know i'm not really interested in that all that much but you have to remember there's been a lot of unique characters that have written for dc devin grayson made solid stories and did awesome things with batman gotham knights comics from the 2000s which is where they got the name gotham knights for this new video game by the way uh the devin grayson run very good check it out um, but Devin Grayson is a loony. She's insane. The difference is, unlike Mako, uh, she doesn't bring her real-life craziness into her books. Mako is a self-insert fan fiction writer who has been responsible for torpedoing uh, the Harley Quinn books in 2018, getting them canceled. And she also got... Um, what was the other book she wrote for? I think she wrote She-Hulk as well. So, I mean, she has a reputation of sinking books. 
So, I mean, you know, I would say just bring Devin Grayson back if they're, you know, trying to win stunning and brave points because she's actually a good author, you know, and she checks all their boxes uh, for nowadays. But Devin Grayson is back in Marvel writing for Black Widow and doing a really great job. So, I mean, we're stuck with Mako and Starfire's daughter. We'll see what happens. I've already, I said that I am going to at least read the first three issues of her Detective Comics run. So I am I am on board for three issues. After Future State, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. You always say what we'll see what happens. Well, most times I say it, I'm it's usually it is a dumpster fire, but at least I give the benefit of three issues. You get three strikes. First but, issue, second issue, third issue, I'm out. But you already know it will be bad. Oh yeah, I, I know, but I, I just I like to think that no one can screw up Batman, but then again, Maybe, I've been proven wrong sometimes. Maybe they can. The great thing about um, Batman like books, though, if you mess them up too badly, like DC Comics, because it's such a protective property, they will yeet you off the book. So if you screw up too much where you lose the money, even if you have a run that's been secured, like say Mako or whatever her name is, her run is, uh, they're going to give her 12 issues. If she messes up two issues so bad that the sales are the worst that DC has ever seen, they're not going to wait it out and see if the books improve. They're going to fire her and bring somebody in to replace the line by, like, issue four. Do they fire a lot of people there? Depends. Like, if you're on a flagship title that's failing, they're not going to let you your woke points, like, you know, save you. Um, you have many, to sell. How many woke points do I have right now? None. <laughs> oh. Well, actually, no. You probably have like probably how one. How can I get? How can I get more woke points? Dye your hair blue. Um, <laughs> maybe I can gain gain three hundred pounds. Okay. Um, Wait. Let me write this down. Okay. Make sure that you have like. Oh. You see how thick my arm hair is on my arms? Oh uh, yeah. Have that on your arms and legs. How do I do that though? Since uh, I'm a girl, it's like kind of hard to grow my hair. That. Eat a lot of meats, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I could have Don't some bathe. Meat, meat sweats. <laughs> meat sweats. There you go. Yeah. Okay. okay. I want to play. I'm going to start writing this information now. Even though I'm not very good at this game, I want to play. I don't buy comic books anymore. I just watch Comic Historian. Oh, Luke. Ooh. Luke. My, um, my, mm. my cat identifies as a, um, as a helicopter. What? Yeah. Okay. What? What? I'm actually going to get in a match. Fine. Yeah, I've been wondering why you haven't done that in a while. Need to need to blow your nose. Need to make sure you have some water. And you're gonna tell me I have to go up to sleep. I mean, usually when you're this sleepy, I do recommend it. Batman rocking the boombox in the background. <clears throat> that cat dance cringe. Uh, I would like to see Amber with blue hair. Me too. Pink hair, preferably. It has to be an ugly color. Yeah, I don't, uh, Dan, I don't really buy a lot of comics anymore. I just stick to the Batman books. I have uh, stuck it out through the uh, Nightwing run. Um, oh. Most of the Batman stuff. Although, I did stop reading. Uh, Tom King actually made me drop the book. Like, I, I stopped reading Batman um, after Dick Grayson was shot. Like, I kept reading... When Batman defeated, uh, like, KG Beast, and then I just, I dropped it. I, I wanted nothing to do with Tom King's thing. I, I'm not reading, um, as much as I, I did read the first issue of his Batman Catwoman run, which I, I do admit is pretty solid so far. I'm just waiting for it to jump the shark, like, Tom King style. Oh, thanks for the super chat, Leroy. Oh, thanks, Leroy. Oh, we got in a match. Holy cow. Leroy wants to make a shirt. A Chrome shirt for merch. Can I make a Chrome t-shirt for merch? No, you can't. Yes! No, you can't. Yes! Definitely! What I'm happened gonna... to... Where's Manny's question? Well, I'll have you... my people call your people on that, Leroy. You can't. Chrome is a protected property. Luke, I think that one thing that would help you to be more... Like, you know, in the know would be dyeing your hair blue. No. Because then you would also be more like Chrom. And 
I'm gonna leave. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I I'm I'm not really I think I'm tired. Obviously. I don't watch I don't read comics either because I just listened to the guy that taught me everything I need to know about Batman. My awesome husband. What? And I'm free, free falling. So based on how long it's taken to get matches, this is probably the last one tonight, guys, because we're near the two hour mark. I really didn't get into that many uh, things. I wanted to get into more stuff, but I mean, it makes sense. People are downloading Master Chief like crazy. So we'll have another Master Chief stream sometime this weekend when things settle down a little bit. Probably Sunday. Um, I have uh, some ultimate streams to do, which I'm pretty excited about some of them. Uh, Knights of the Round for Carlos. We've got more Pikmin for Brady. We've got Batman Dark Tomorrow for Amber. Yeah! Yeah! Batman Dark Tomorrow hype. Woo! Did you try to feed her medicine tonight, or are you doing that tomorrow? I haven't found a gun yet. Uh, um, I might try that tomorrow. That's fine. Zelda, that's my phone! Come on! Why? Don't look at me with that little face. Hey, K-Wings and fans, anyone already forgotten the winners of the Game Awards, but still have the trailers fresh in your minds? I, the game, totally, Ed. game awards were meh. Great to see you, Ed. Hello, everybody hanging out in the chat. The only game that really excites me is one that's like really is Smash Brothers. Like, I can't really. Oh, I liked the Capcom reveal. That was cool. Uh, I love the fact of Ghosts and Goblins coming back. I think I like the art style, too. I know that game journalists are going to complain about an easy mode, though, for Ghosts and Goblins. They need to make this game more accessible for people that suck at playing games. There are even people in the 80s and 90s that aren't very good at playing Ghosts and Goblins, though. Ghosts and Goblins is supposed to, like, kick your butt. It's Ghosts and Goblins. It makes Arthur's journey so much sweeter when you succeed. Not get away from my mug. Mm, I care more about Sephiroth than who won the Game Year Awards, and I just, I still think Final Fantasy is overrated. No, yeah, yeah, I mean, Final, uh, Sephiroth is awesome in the... Smash Brothers, like, whether or not, I mean, I don't know. Whether or not people have overhyped Final... This what? is my only mug. Hold this, please. Luke, oh my god. Put it on the other computer. Thank you. Cause... Never mind. Okay, I guess I'll go to bed. Sorry, guys. Um, Our cat was scratching her ear right over Luke's mug. Yeah, and she bleeds, so... Yep, I agree. Sephiroth is pretty awesome, guys. Can't forget about Dark Tomorrow. So when are we doing Dark Tomorrow? Dark Tomorrow, I believe, is tomorrow. Well, no. What? Um, you need to tell me when this is. Dark Tomorrow Saturday. Why are you... You're making it up as you go along. No, I'm not. Tomorrow is Nights of the Round. You just said it's tomorrow. I mean, Saturday. I lose... Today's Friday. So it would be tomorrow. Uh -huh. It's midnight. Well, it would we be doing it? It would be Saturday. Okay, is it Friday or Saturday? It's Friday right now, so today's stream will be Knights of the Round. Well, so Friday's night stream is Knights of the Round. Yes. And Saturday's stream is Dark, Dark tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. Okay, so in the morning when I wake up, it will be Knights of the Round day. Yes. Okay, I understand. Does it make sense now? Yeah. Okay. I'm still trying to stay up so I can get all my housework done because I can't get it done when you're streaming. All right. Well, this is my last round, so in ten minutes or so. Um, I can't. That's why, like, you were always like, go to bed. But it's like, also, look, I'm gonna do Zelda's medicine in the morning. Yeah, you can. I do... can't think about it right now because I have fine. to like, I have to look at the label and I have to like measure out everything. I'm just gonna do it in the morning. That's I'm totally fine. Very the exhaust right now. Stop doing that. Okay, sorry. You're still doing it. Still doing it. Still doing it. Can you have your cat play Batman Dark tomorrow? Uh, she doesn't have opposable thumbs, so... Uh, yes! Actually, I'm assigning that to her. To play it. That way I don't have to. Mm-hmm. Then I think... 
I mean, unless people want another Master Chief stream, I don't know. I might end up... What I'm probably going to do tomorrow is do... Uh, Knights of the Round, and then I'll do one last round with Master Chief, because that's the last time people are going to be able to buy him. Although, I don't understand why he'd only be available for a day. Why? I mean, if you turn the light off, one, you're going to get tired, and two, I'm going to get tired. No, the light uh, jolts me awake still. Because I have to edit after this. And I answered. No, I didn't. I explained it in a sentence. Dun, 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 dun. I have Kratos' axe. Ha-ha! Ah, uh, mix and match in properties. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, guys, I can't add anyone. I can't add anyone, but uh, people. Is that is that what Manny's request was? Um. Oh, that's right. I'm giving away a, a copy of Spider-Man tomorrow. Uh, I forgot. Like around six o'clock. Um. The first stream is a Spider-Man giveaway. Because I want to get rid of the Spider-Man game. Either that, or I can move that to Sunday or something. I'm getting rid of it this weekend. I just. Uh, I don't know. I'll make an announcement for it. I think I'll do it Sunday. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to stream Master Chief again tomorrow. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah. Even though I'm terrible at Fortnite. Thought that would actually end up working, but it didn't. <laughs> I'm trying to fit 150 wheat in. Uh, how how are you gonna fit? Are you talking about like the discs? You'll ruin the discs. How will you fit that? You could probably fit like 20. Or no, he could fit all the discs, but the discs would be ruined. You have to box. No, they don't. It would, it would still, it would scratch the discs. I mean, I would advise against it. Unless you really don't like those games and you're trying to destroy them. <laughs> like, they don't have... Are they your games or were they your brother's games that you made? They don't, they don't have scratch resistance like a lot of PlayStation, like, 3 games do. Oh, I'm still using the wrong... Do we even have soda? Oh wow. I'm on fire! And not the good kind of fire! Okay, honey. Thank you for the Tim thing. Okay, that one's actually a good lyric. Alright, where are you people at? Wow. Bad shot, am I? I just want a shotgun. I'm not very good with the machine gun. Why? Oh, I'm still using the Joker cards for falling down. Oh, well, I like the Joker cards. It's kind of funny. Now you guys have made me want Earthworm Jim in this game so much. I'm gonna make that so it's gonna be a hit. And we're gonna get a million dollars. Nope. Oh, I know YouTube algorithm. What? I know the algorithm. Also, we're not even in the algorithm. Okay. I was a girl who started her own YouTube channel for a video. She said it took like three days to render the video. Her computer was still bad. She got like over a mil million views on the video. Guys, I got a stream watch, Sniper. So if you want to hang tight with me, that would be good. 
Got a person who's following me. Super annoying. Mm. Like, speaking of Sephiroth, what about him? Were Cloud and Sephiroth like friends in the army? Or what? Yes. Whoa! No way. Yes. Wow. Yes. yes. Cloud and Sephiroth used to be good friends until Sephiroth went crazy and killed everybody. Which was part of the story um, that they still haven't really gone over yet. YouTube drama. What are you talking about? So weird. Ooh, Cloud could actually make it in Fortnite. He's a gaming legend. I don't think Square would do it though. No. I want to know how they got both Cloud and Sephiroth in the same game for Smash Brothers. Like, whose arm did they have to break? I mean, there's got to be something. I mean, there still isn't really a. a No, yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Sakurai can't do that anyway. He, he's a third party. De he's a second party developer in Nintendo. Uh -oh. Although Sora Ltd, they they won't be a second party developer for Nintendo forever unless their contract now is like blood thick. Um, I don't know. Like Sakurai is going to retire eventually because he doesn't want to do Smash Brothers anymore. What you can about? see how tired he is. He's like, this is my final one! And it will never get better than this! <laughs> yeah, then when the next person does it, he's gonna be like, ah, you need me! No, I don't think he'd care. No, he... What? What did I do wrong? You always say you do something wrong. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I could tell you, but... What did I do wrong? I don't know. Whoops. Why did it not shoot? Whoops. Where are you? Wait. Coming up behind us. Nice job, guys. Thanks. You're not doing anything, Amber. Oh, I'm sure you are. Thanks for the assist. Thanks for the assist again. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, that's one of ours. Ah. Oh no. Oh no. Zelda. Now it's not a good time, honey. Especially not doing that. Ambi, come on. Don't. 
No, Zelda! For crying out loud! She just made the computer- the computer's blinking. I'm gonna have to rearrange my entire setup now here, Zelda. I didn't do anything! She jumped on my laptop! No, I'm not touching my laptop till the stream's over. I don't want it to accidentally shut off. I'm just, you're here, I would tell the stream too, because that's what happened. Uh, because I'm watching it back on the other laptop. And even though there's like a 15 second delay, I mean, the time that Zelda... I'm trying to relax while I play Fortnite. Okay. Right, because I need to do all this housework. What are you talking about? Why are you, like, laughing at me, Lord? I'm not laughing at you, Amber. Alright, so anyway, guys and gals... Why is it you always do that right before... Amber! You I'm trying to end my stream. Thank you. Alright, so anyway, people, that is it. That is all. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, there'll be another Master Chief stream in probably a day or so. You've got 18 hours to pick him up. And then, like, Kratos, he's going to disappear. Or maybe he'll stick around all weekend. I don't know. Like, does this relate to just the top placement? Or is he going to be moved down here and some other stuff? I don't really know how the, the whole, you know, shop thingy works. So. But, yeah. You guys have a fantastic night. Get out of my room. I'm playing Fortnite. Gosh. Um, I think today's stream was fun. I enjoyed it. I'm happy that they have uh, another gaming legend in here. And I want to see Nathan Drake. I definitely want Cloud now. Although they'll probably do a Final Fantasy XV character if they did it as a gaming legend. Uh, Tomb Raider would be cool. Earthworm Jim would be epic, but I don't see that happening. But it's still pretty dope. So, um... Later, guys, and uh, tomorrow's streams will be pretty cool. And I'll be giving away a copy of uh, Spider-Man this weekend, probably Sunday, because no one wanted a copy of it. So I'm going to have to give it away live. <laughs> I contacted 15 people. Yeah. Maybe maybe they, uh, that thing that Thanos did, maybe they got snapped or something, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, guys. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. Check out Master Chief for the next 18 hours. God bless Nebby Gaming.